I'm standing down here on the breakwater of Jamestown in Santalina. The RMS Santalina is, is out here in the bay, and as you can see, it can't dock here. Now, one of, the, one of the issues affecting the airport project is that they will need to build a proper dock and breakwater, they call it. So when you hear people talk about the airport and the breakwater, it's very important to understand that there is no dock here. The, all the goods that come off that ship have to be put down onto these World War II era small platform boats taken over to the to the what is basically a dock with a crane on it and then those things are loaded up onto the dock. Yeah, there's a lot of questions uh, affecting St. Lena. The biggest one of course is the airport development. The social impacts of, of an airport will be huge. Uh, St. Lena as we know it as it is today will presumably disappear. I don't think there's anything uh, not two ways about that. But maybe if too many people leave, then St. Lena will disappear as it is anyway. So it's really standing between two evil in that sense. Um, as it stands, it is going ahead if nothing else happens. Uh, we don't know what the price will be because uh, the tenders, they were out here a few weeks ago. There are two consortia that are tendering about the project. Uh, their submissions should be in at the end of November this year. So I have Sharon. So I have Sharon Wayne right here. She's the access manager for Santalina. We're standing here on what's going to be the airport runway. It is an awesomely huge project. There is a gorge here that's going to have to be filled to provide safety access at the end of the runway. And uh, you can see from some of the pictures that we're putting up here right now that it's not a flat place, it's not a smooth place, and a runway is going to be a massive undertaking. My name is Sharon Wainwright. Um, I'm a St. Lenian who came back to the island three and a half years ago to work on the airport project. I'm St. Lenian's Access Project Manager, and we're here at Prospers Bay Plain, the site of the airport. If we look along here, you'll see a part of it. There's some drums here, some white drums with some red flags. And that shows you the centre line of the runway, although it's only a small part of it because the runway is 2,250 metres long. I suppose the milestones we're looking for are the, the airport development being done sympathetically with the environment. So that's a big feature for us. Um, we're standing here at the end of the runway and this gorge needs to be filled in. We'll dig down about 20 metres or so and then extend right to the other end and that will be the runway and safety area. We're out here on the Prosperous Bay Plain overlooking the central basin on the island of Santalina and I'm with Rebecca Cairnswick. She's been working on the environmental impact assessment for the airport that's being constructed near here and she's going to tell us a little bit about how that uh, in construction is going to impact the ecology of this area. Hi, uh, my name is Rebecca Cairnswick. So I've been working with the uh, team responsible for the e environmental impact assessment for the airport. Um, we have behind us the, the, what we call is the central basin of Prosperous Bay Plain, which is, is a rather unique, uh, mature, semi-desert ecosystem. Small, but uh, nonetheless very, very special. And it's special because of the unique geological conditions that, that's found here. A combination of uh, erosion and deposition has, has created um, a, a substrate in the basin of, of, of deep fine grit which is home to an, a number of very special endemic burrowing species of spider which we call wolf spiders. Building uh, an airport that's uh, got a runway over two kilometers uh, long that's been done in an area of uh, semi-arid nature but with um, lots of biodiversity, particularly in terms of the spiders out there. So that's a big feature to ensure that the massive logistical exercise doesn't impact adversely on that uh, environment and on uh, particularly our native bird, the wirebird. So this environment is not replicated anywhere else on the island. Um, so it's a little hot spot of endemicity. The uh, central basin um, Will, will not be t touched by the, the airport as such. The, the infrastructure for the airport and the, the major construction is, is on the ridge surrounding the, the central basin. Uh, what could change quite dramatically is, is, is the, uh, the wind regime in the central basin and the topography because of the, the amount of earthworks and the, and the reduction in, in height of the, the ridge on the eastward, eastern side. We're standing here at the, at the landing of the Santalina. 
who's just come in today, the RMS Centalina. And I'm with, uh, can you say your name again, sir? Pat, Pat Williams. I'm with Pat Williams, and uh, Pat's brother works on the ship. Well, my brother Lou is, is a button on the ship. Okay. So, uh, and what do you think about the, the airport? Well, the airport, I think to myself, it, it, it has to come. simple reason is that we, uh, the government has tried all kinds of things on the island, and nothing has actually been fruitful to be able to give the people of San Lina a, a, a decent life. Uh, secondly, we, need, we, we don't only need an airport, we need, a, we need the docks. We need a breakwater here because uh, the, the airport is not going to give us the actual things that the order needs to be able to uh, make it self-sufficient. No, I don't think. I think it will upset Saint Lena. It will change the attitude of Saint Lena. And I think I'm going to be. You know, I think it's going to be something that we've probably underestimated in our in our interpretation. And very it, much. It so. will be real. And it is a huge job.